Ahoy everyone, today marks the UI freeze of Ubuntu Impish Entry. I have it installed right here, well, on a live session, and we are just going to be taking a look at the user interface. So, first of all, I would like to mention that the wallpapers are not in this build yet. This is the latest build, I just downloaded it today. But if we go to change background, we do not have the new wallpapers in here yet. So hopefully we will be getting those soon. I haven't seen them yet. I haven't really looked for them or anything. And then also I noticed when you're booting up the PC, if you are booting up on a PC without secure boot or without, you know, basically anything that will give you the manufacturer logo, you know, in the boot process, then it will give you the Ubuntu logo. So that is, you know, a nice touch to add because of course, uh, also like on a Raspberry Pi, you know, when you're booting it up, you don't see any logo, but they added the Ubuntu logo. That's just one thing I noticed when I was booting it up. And then, so if we press on the super key, so the Windows key, if you are on a Windows keyboard, you will get into here. And so this is different from the last version. And so this is our desktop thing. So if I press the Windows key again to get out of that, say we open like files and we'll just open like LibreOffice Writer. Okay, now we press that and it gives us our windows and we can like switch here or something. So that is a nice multitasking feature and we can also have virtual desktops and we could also like drag a window to another desktop. And I guess it automatically creates a new one when you are using two. Anyway, so then if you click on these, the show applications, then it will give you your desktops right here and it gives you your applications here and you can scroll through them. So there's quite a bit changed in the UI here compared to before, but I think it's good changes. I think that the productivity of this is really nice. Like you can organize all your applications that you have open and it's just working really nicely. And it also seems to be performing really fast. I mean, I haven't really been testing it, but the, the performance seems to be very good. I'm on a pretty powerful computer, but let's go over to the browser. And I know this is a UI video, but let's just see, you know, how this performs. So this, I would say it's a little faster than Windows on this computer. So it's doing pretty good as far as performance goes. And so we have some of the default applications changed. I guess when you go over here, then you can go to the next page or something like this. So passwords and keys, I don't remember seeing that before. And then these icons have kind of changed. So when you hover over them, it gives you the full name if it's cut off. And then, of course, they have the utilities folder, wherever that is. I guess they removed that because normally, like, GNOME Disk Utility would be in there. Anyway, so this is the applications menu now. And then we also have the trash icon right here. So we have this, like, separator here that separates it from the other. So I think if we open an application that's not pinned, like say the terminal, yeah, it puts it down here and then there's a separation. So it's kind of like on Mac OS when you look at the dock, there's like a separation between your penned apps and your other open apps. And then the terminal, I don't know if it's the same or different. It looks a little bit different. I think the coloring might be a little bit different. And then of course we have this light mode. Of course, I think we had that before, but let's go over and change the theme. The mouse pointer looks a little bit different. So say we were to open up rhythm box, the like loading wheel seems to be looking a little different. I guess we have to kind of open up something else. See that loading wheel? I think that might be slightly different than before. So if we go to appearance, we can change to our dark theme. And now we just have light or dark. I'm not sure if that's how it was before because I haven't really used 
Ubuntu that much on the last release, but then this has kind of changed the way that this looks hither. But we just have light and dark. We don't have like the semi dark, which I don't really think looks that good because it's like part of its light and part of its dark. It just doesn't seem to blend very well. And then, of course, we can do our auto hiding dock. And I guess the thing weird with that, when you have it on the left side, then you're applications are like these but it only ties when you put something over there so now it looks proper but when that's covering over your desktop icons that's kind of annoying i'm not sure if that's a bug or what it is so if we put it on the bottom i think that looks better well it would look a lot better if it was centered if it kind of looked like mac os i think that would look a lot better and be more familiar to a lot of users but let's just put it back how they have it by default and move on to some other things so if we go in hither we can see everything about these so we can see the gnome version right hither and then of course the image injury development branch right hither and my specs, not that that really matters. But yeah, we have that panel. And then if we go to the system monitor, of course, I've tested some apps. But if we go to resources, we can see one and a half gigabytes of RAM being used. So it, that's probably about typical for Ubuntu. It kind of is one of the heavier operating systems, but if you have a good spec computer, it can run very well. So it's less RAM than Windows, I think. Of course, Windows is kind of getting better at managing RAM, but I still think that it is less by a little bit, not, not a whole lot, but you know, Ubuntu is a very nice operating system as far as everything goes. It has a lot of productivity tools built in like these. You know, the, the desktop thing that's really useful. And then I think you might be able to configure it like hot corners or something. And it's just got a lot of things that can make you very productive. And so I don't really see much else in the UI of this operating system, but I do think that it is looking very improved compared to how it was before. And then also, I this was added before, but I like the power feature. Of course, this is not the UI, but if we you know, change this, we can change it to the different modes. And it just... I don't know, it kind of looks a little bit different than before in just all the areas. I'm not sure what it is. And then, of course, the system apps might be changed a little bit. Say we go to calendar. That looks like it might be changed a little bit, but I didn't really use Ubuntu calendar before. But yeah, I think the system apps are changed a little bit, possibly, because that's kind of, you know, what they do normally. So anyway... That is the UI of this operating system and I hope you're enjoying these and my videos and if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe and also like this video as well. Until next time I'm Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Project Dial.